Hi, my name is Dimitri, and uh, if you didn't know, big productivity app fan, big fan of Morgan. You know Morgan Calendar? Pretty good? You ever heard of it? I seriously like it a lot. But what I really like is the fact that I get to use it every single day. And if I wanted to, I could also use it with another really great tool that people have been clamoring about in the last year or so, ClickUp. So for those of you that are unaware, ClickUp is essentially a project management tool similar to that of something like Trello and Notion and SmartSuite. And actually inside of Morgan, they just released a new ClickUp integration. As you can see inside of here, I have a bunch of different tasks that are on my calendar inside of Morgan to the left here. And all I had to do in order to integrate it is essentially add a task integration. And inside of that task integration, all I need to do is add specific spaces, change the configuration to add specific lists from the spaces, and then it goes inside of my Morgan account. And then from there, what I can do is take these different items from my account that are tasks and drag them onto my calendar. And then when they're on that calendar, what's awesome is I can change them to any of the different calendars that I'd like within here, their priority status, all the different items from ClickUp actually come through. So if I click on open in ClickUp, it'll go inside of my ClickUp account to this buy workout clothes task right here. I can change the priority to urgent, the due date, the track time, the status, all those different entities inside of here. Now you may be saying, wait, Dimitri, isn't there a homepage inside of ClickUp that has the ability for you to add things like your agenda and, you know, for example, your calendar? Yeah, that's true. However, I'm just gonna point out the fact that this is not a calendar application, right? Like there is nothing in here that makes it a calendar application. Sure, it's nice, it's convenient. I enjoy the fact that I have the ability to have scheduled events pop up in my ClickUp. But in Morgan's case, you can actually time block. I do this with Notion currently. You'll see that I have like a lot of different tasks popping up here. This is essentially what my calendar looks like. All these different black spaces are essentially Notion tasks that I have then put onto my calendar. And you can do the exact same thing with ClickUp now. And what I think is really cool is if it ends up getting checked off by pressing this box now. Say for example, this was a task that wasn't like buy workout clothes, it was an actual task that made sense in the context of this. Or if you're a freak about tracking your personal time, you can click track time. Now, when I click on that, it then updates the entity inside of ClickUp. So that task, as you can see here, is gonna have a one hour tracked time. That is awesome. The reason for that is because it marked it off as completed when it was checked off here. Now, just to note, you'll see that the status is still on hold inside of Morgan. And when you look back at it on ClickUp, since there's so many different status properties that can exist inside of there, they haven't quite cracked that code. It's pretty easy to do it in Notion, but they didn't want to do it inside of ClickUp. Personally, I think they're going to add an option at some point, so I wouldn't get too worried about that. Clicking this as mark is complete, just do it afterwards. And you have the option to either resolve all of the unsolved items or continue. Like that's probably the reason they wanted to do it. There's so many subtasks within this item that they didn't want to have, you know, just one checkbox, take it all off. Pretty complex to ask your preferences. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. But as you can see, if I switch spaces to something like marketing, I have this 90 day checklist that I can do. So if I wanted to, I can go through all of these different entities, plan them out of my calendar, check them off accordingly when they get done. And I really like the fact that you have the ability to show the different labels in accordance with this. So like the status is to do the due date and then the cadence I can click on and off. And if you've seen my other videos on this, it's cool that you can either show or not show scheduled tasks on the sign here. And you'll notice that there's an overdue today, due tomorrow, due soon, all these different lists. You can click on enable due soon list or not, due tomorrow list, like for me, I planned the next day and that was a late addition to this about a month or so after they created more and more task integrations like Notion and now ClickUp and it's been awesome. So I can, instead of just seeing like what's upcoming, it separates from a do today to do tomorrow and do soon standpoint. Now, if we're able to make custom lists like this, that would be awesome, but you can still group this by things like status on the bottom here, as you can see, if any of these were in progress, like if I went to this content innovation and it was set to in progress after a quick refresh, which does happen naturally, but I'm gonna just click it to make it easier. You'll notice that it pops up in the in progress section right here. A great way to view this personally is if you click the day property, go to the exact day you wanna plan and then drop these different tasks in 
one day at a time. If you like this workflow and want to learn more cool workflows between applications, integrations inside of productivity tools like Morgan and ClickUp, make sure to check out videos like this one right here and leave some suggestions down below.